That was interesting. Anyways, welcome to Elsewhere. All right, welcome everyone to season three of Elsewhere, uh, now including Origins and a tiny Draco in a bucket of water. Yeah, so for the beginning of the season here, this is where we're at at spawn, and then uh, there's a mushroom island. I think it is in that direction towards where the sun is setting right now, uh, and that's where we'll be doing Spawn Town. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 enough for, for this kickoff. As much as I'd like to get into committing a little chaos, this is the start of the server, so I'm currently naked and homeless. Let's fix that. Alrighty, welcome elsewhere. So I already have a plane installed. My first step is going to be finding a village. Once I find that village, I can then use the villagers there to make an iron farm. Once the iron farm's done, I can trade that iron back to the villagers in order to get some emeralds and then get some diamond gear. Shortly after arriving at a village, I installed an iron farm and a villager breeder. The villager breeder wasn't being as fast as I wanted it to, so I grabbed the last two guys in the village and made one of them an armorer. With the armorer, it was now just a matter of waiting until I had enough emeralds for the gear. After about half an hour, I finally had a full set of armor, so it's probably about time we build our starter base. See, technically everyone's supposed to build their starter base on the central mushroom island, but I completely ignored this fact because I wanted some decent gear first, so we should probably reconnect with society. But before we do that, I'd like to explain these purple particle effects emitting from my lower body. See, this server has the Origins mod, meaning everyone has their own powers and weaknesses. I'm a malfunction, which gives me the power to phase through blocks, float occasionally, and whenever I take damage, I teleport. There is a fourth ability, but up to now, I still haven't figured it out. On my quest to find the starter island, I kidnapped a villager from another village and a parrot. The parrot isn't really important, but there's a lack of villagers on the island, so I might as well bring some. Upon arrival, I came across a man in some rather dapper pants for a hill. Hello, Deck. <laughs> Hello. I humbly tossed him some iron and we started discussing each other's abilities. There was that one ability I still couldn't figure out, but I do know that it requires me to punch something. So I punched Dak, and it still didn't do anything. Rather confused, I headed back to my village to gather materials for my starter base. I was going to need some powdered snow, but instead I found something a little more valuable. My final ability. Oh. Whoa. I found out how it works. <laughs> you just gave me blindness. See, what this ability allows me to do is teleport to the last entity I punched, or teleport that entity to me. This turned what I thought was a rather boring origin into something that could cause immense chaos. So like a reverse Sour Patch Kid, I subsequently helped Shotgun move his villagers back into their pen and then stole one of them later while demonstrating my abilities to Olivian. But getting back to the task at hand, it's time to build a home. Yeah, it's a pool. How am I supposed to live inside this pool, you may ask? Well, it's quite simple. I won't. I'll live under the pool. This is where Powered Snow would be used as a block I can phase through to access my base. Then I remembered I can phase through any block, so I didn't actually need it. A resource I will need though is wool, but Mushroom Islands aren't really known for their abundance of sheep. Wait, could, could you even call this a Mushroom Island? With the lack of mycelium, it's more of an island with mushrooms on it. How is everyone okay with this? The island we call a home is a moldy wasteland. Someone's gotta fix this. But how? Well, you could add back the mycelium to turn it into a proper mushroom island, or start planting dark oak trees to turn it into a dark oak forest. But I think the simplest solution is to just remove the mushrooms. From then on, I became the driving force of the Remove the Shroom movement. My first step was going to be taking care of the wildlife as all this island had were these rotting cows. This wouldn't be too difficult though, as I literally have the ability to import mobs. So I bred a couple of sheep and decided to log off for the night, as I'd been playing for six hours up to this point. But the morning brought new surprises, like a tree outside my pool. Who put this tree? next to my pool. Turns out this was Butter, also known as the person who betrayed me, re-allied with me, then betrayed me again, then attempted to re-ally with me again, but at that point I didn't trust him, then he died to lag. But that was in the past. We've ascended that realm. Everything's gonna be nice and peace. Yeah, after finding out my only weakness, he turned me into a pinata. Let's just say he probably won't be my favorite neighbor. But I won't let that stop me, because I got some sheep to breed. Butter wasn't having it. I don't know what he finds so funny about other people's disabilities, but he's really getting on my nerves. He even went as far as using his fire breathing ability to teleport me out of my own home. I did eventually find a way to counter his attacks, and he left me alone for a bit, but now I have to breed these sheep in fear of that sentient flamethrower. Anyways, I was told someone else had entity manipulation powers like me. This person was Silver Sea. An unintended ability of their origin allowed them to throw small eggs creating these pocket chickens. I'm not gonna lie, this has to be the most overpowered and broken origin in the game. In my opinion, she needs to be nerfed. Butter was at it again, but this time I had a trick up my sleeve. Can't get me now! <laughs> ah! As you may have guessed, I kidnapped a Strider earlier with the help of Olivian. Though that doesn't matter now, because my boots are broken! And I don't even have enough emeralds to buy new hey, ones! Yo, what now?! So, um, we have mending books. We just made four nether ingots. And we have some armorer villagers that are maxed out. And some toolsmiths that are maxed out. 
But yeah, you're no longer the best man on this. So I built a raid farm that produces 56,000 emeralds per hour. Of course, this didn't come without its own series of events, the most notable one being the appearance of Meerkat Toast. Unlike Butter, I was actually pretty good allies with Toast. He even helped me gather materials for the raid farm. Butter was actually AFK earlier, so I teleported him into the nether to pay back for all the torment I've suffered. What? To say he deserved it would be an understatement. I'm actually starting to think that people might be scared of me. I mean, Rift straight up said it earlier. He has a pretty scary ability. He was also the one speculating the limitations of my ability. So what happens if you hit the Ender Dragon and die? Anyways, now that we have a near infinite supply of emeralds, I can start purchasing tools and enchantments to remove mushrooms faster. With this new loadout, it was time to get chopping. Around three and a half hours later, and with the help of Toast, I had done it. I officially removed all the shrooms on the East Mushroom Island. With this, the world is now whole again. No longer will we be plagued by the uninterpretable existence of mushrooms on these grass-covered isles. It was time to see if the others enjoyed the new landscape. Uh, not really, because it doesn't give me stuff to hide under. Oh.